Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. Today, I am going to be talking to you about a very, very exciting launch. This is the Lisa Eldridge Summer Collection and I'm going to be going through all the pieces that I picked up. I went absolutely bananas and I pretty much bought most of the collection, if not, I think only a couple of highlighters I didn't buy, but everything else. Today, we are gonna be talking about the collection. We're going to be swatching it on my face and we're going to just talk about how they appear. I truly hope that you enjoy this video as much as I am really excited to be doing this. So, first of all, let's start with what I picked up. These are all the items that I purchased. I pretty much went totally, totally bananas and bought pretty much most of the collection. I think the only pieces I didn't buy were the two highlighters. Other than that, I just thought Lisa Eldridge, I just had to get everything. It was just too hard to miss. So this is the box. Lisa says, I can't wait to see your hashtag Lisa Eldridge makeup photos. Please tag me at Lisa Eldridge makeup on Instagram. Love Lisa kiss. Don't you just love Lisa Eldridge and the logo. Now the reason why I love Lisa so much is Lisa is a makeup artist so I fully appreciate basically all the research that has gone into getting these out. So the reason why I have all these velvet pouches is Lisa did a deal where if you bought three items then you got a free pouch and obviously I purchased a lot of items so I picked out various pouches. I picked out a green one, a blue one, a red one and then two of her special ones that she did that were sort of limited edition I think these were so let's have a look in each one so the first pouch I have the Lisa Eldridge enlivening blush and it's in the color pink soap and I have the luxuriously lucent lip color in the color painterly so those are the first two and then in the next pouch which was the blue pouch i've got the luxuriously lucent lip color in rose official i have the same one again in atomic cherry and i have the same one again in the color spirited away these names before we even start are just exceptional. Spirited Away is probably one of my favorite sort of cartoons. I believe it's a manga cartoon, yeah. And it's just been so well known for such a long time and has such a cult following. So I'm so glad she called that Spirited Away. Atomic Cherry, love that kind of, yeah, name with the red. Obviously it's gonna be a reddish color. And then we've got Rose Official, which I can't wait to try on as well. So I've got some, some more enlivening blushes in the color Venetian Red and Dante's Dream. So those are the two there. I've got the Gloss Embrace Lip Gloss in the color Delilah. I've got the enlivening blush in Mountain Walk, Island Glow, and pink poetry, gorgeous colors. And then I have the luxuriously lucent lip color in Kitten Mischief, which is in this one. And then in the final red pouch, I have the Solar Light Elevated Glow. So I picked up that and I picked up the luxuriously lucent lip color in the color Dance Card. And I've also got the Gloss Embrace Lip Gloss in the color Affair. So in the final pouch, I have the color Cosmic Rose Elevated Glow. I've got the Gloss Embrace in Songbird and I've got the Gloss Embrace in the color Charm. So that is everything. So she's launched some new lipsticks, ultra modern, ultra comfortable, ultra luxury lip color. Backed by popular demand, my super succulent, luxuriously lucent lip color. This easy to wear creamy formula is perfect for summer. Luxuriously lucent lip color is semi sheer coverage lipsticks with a satin finish. Delivering in one swipe, you can also build the colour to create a more radiantly polished look. This ultra modern, comfortable and luxurious texture feels smooth, light and pleasurable on the lips. So it comes in seven perfect shades, Painterly, Spirited Away, Rose Official, Kitten Mischief, Dance Card, Love of My Life and Atomic Cherry range from my lips but better shades to brights. These are all the colors. They retail for 26 pounds each. Now, let's move on to the highlighters. This is brand new to Lisa's 
sort of range of makeup that she already has. So she already had the Lucent Lip Colours from before, but this is absolutely brand new. This is the Seamless Skin Elevated Glow Highlighter, Next Level Highlighter. A gorgeously glowy and seamless highlighter that looks flattering in all lighting. Elevated Glow comes in four skin adaptive sheer tones designed to add an amplified luminous glow to the high points of the face while simultaneously delivering high performance skin benefits. An ingenuous glow hybrid with subtle skin tightening and smoothing effects. Elevated Glow contains lots of small multicolored shimmering pearls in a sheer lightly tinted and skin adaptive base. The level of shimmer on the skin depends on how much you apply so start with a small dot and build to the desired level of glow you prefer. A skincare hybrid formula packed with hydrating, elasticizing, lifting and humectant actives. So this comes in four colours. So the four colours are Crystal Nebula, Cosmic Rose, Solar Light and Celestial Fire. So I picked up the two in the middle, Cosmic Rose and Solar Light. So I'll be showing you how that looks on my skin. They retail for £27 each. Now let's move on to the lip glosses. So Discover Gloss Embrace Lip Gloss. Gloss Embrace Lip Gloss. Embellish your lips with a smooth, non-sticky veil of colour while simultaneously replenishing them with nourishing oils and butters. This clever multitasking formulation functions as both medium to high pigment gloss and instant restoring treatment. Cushioning the lips with emollient hydrators and leaving them as soft as silk. Lips feel smooth and plump long after application has worn off. The benefits of intense lip care infused with the fashionability of a truly lucent lip colour. A gloss and lip care hybrid with key lip care ingredients including wild mango, kernel butter, Acai berry oil, sunflower seed oil and vitamin E oil. This is part of Lisa's previous collection. I'll also leave a link below of my previous video of Lisa Eldridge that I've purchased in the past. So the colours that she's got is Songbird, Delilah, Charm, Affair, Ribbon, Myth, Muse, Go Lightly, Blush, Beauty, Yep, those are all the colours and they retail for £18 each. But the new colours that I bought were Songbird, Delilah, Charm and Affair. So those are the four new colours from that collection. Finally, last but not least, but probably the one thing that has excited people the most, the Seamless Skin Enlivening Blush Blush From Within Hybrid, a unique and innovative makeup skincare hybrid formula infused with skincare ingredients and blurring technology. The super light textured cream blush is incredibly easy to apply and blend. Imparts the cheeks with a wonderfully believable translucent blushing from within effect, feels creamy on application and blends down to a natural skin-like finish that is neither too dewy or too matte. Start with the tiniest dot and build to the intensity you desire using fingers or your regular foundation skin brush. And then it says a hybrid formula with skin blurring technology that's packed naturally powerful actives including rosemary leaf extract, bilberry and raspberry seed oils. These are retailing for £24. This is probably the most popular Lisa Eldridge launch I have ever seen <laughs> because all of the colours are sold out. Rest assured, I know what Lisa is like. There will be a restock. So today I hope that showing these on my skin for you will show you how it looks but also make your decision a lot easier as to what colours to pick when the items do come back into stock again. Those colours, I will read them out to you, are Pink Soap, Dante's Dream, Pink Poetry, Mountain Walk, Island Glow, Venetian Red. Those are all the colours. So that is the full collection. One. This is the first one which is Pink Soap. Packaging is really nice. It's got the Lisa Eldridge logo, it's got her signature on there in the gold. Then when you open it up, this is 15 mil and a 24 month shelf life product. This is what it looks like. So this is pink soap. It very much reminds me of like a oil painting container. So maybe Lisa was inspired by all the paintings. You know, I, I watched her makeup show recently and she was looking back at sort of Georgian and Victorian makeup. And I think maybe this was inspired by that because of all the type of painting she saw. So I really love this packaging. It's very interesting, very classy and very Lisa. So let's see how it looks on my skin. As you squeeze it out, you just have to be aware that you only need a tiny bit as Lisa said. So I'm literally gonna dab literally a tiny bit. There is a little bit of water that comes out when you first do it. So you can see that it's very sort of emollient, I suppose.
So this is the colour Pink Soap. It's a very natural colour. I think that you can almost take a little bit more. I would dab a little bit more on, put it on my hand. And as you can see, I've just built on the product. It's a lovely natural blush, I would say, this one. I believe Lisa called it pink soap because her grandma used to have something in the bathroom that was sort of the same colour or the same shades. I really like that. That's a really sort of personal touch. So this is pink soap. Just another thing to note, it does feel quite emollient when you put it on and I don't know whether it's the weather because it's quite warm today but it was a little bit sort of had a bit of water as it came out before. What I like about this is it's that it's very buildable so you can just keep building to intensify but this isn't really meant to be an intense colour so this is a really pretty sort of everyday colour that you can wear whilst you're working and you just need a little bit of colour. So we're now moving on to Dante's Dream. So this is Dante's Dream. I'm almost thinking that you might have to shape the product a bit because I think it's separated because it's warm. So this is Dante's Dream. Again, it's very emollient. That's a gorgeous colour, really, really nice. Sort of like a burnt red colour. Really lovely. And this is pink poetry. This felt really nice. It felt like paint. So you know when you paint oil painting, it feels like it's not oil, but it has that kind of sort of paint consistency. It's really unusual. I've never seen this type of consistency for a cream blush before. As you saw, as I did the video, I kept building and building and building. Now, I'm probably not gonna usually wear this much blush, but I had a lot of product left over. As you can see that it's just gotten more and more pink. It's a lovely pink. I think these colors are gonna suit most skin tones. So I'm quite dark, as you know, but it shows up really beautifully and it's a lovely sort of pink flush. I really, really like this one.
I just use the excess for my lips. I generally do that quite a lot. It's a bit of a habit of mine where I will take a product if it's on my cheeks and dab it on my lips. And the reason I do that is to create this uniform look. So I always like to feel that it's matching, especially if I'm out and about. And this product is really generous. So when Lisa says use a little, really use a little because that was literally like one tiny dab and look how much it went or how far it went. Just be aware of that as well. But let's explore all the other colors now. So the next color is Mountain Walk. So this is Mountain Walk. It's quite pigmented. So this is a mountain walk, really lovely. They all have a very different tone to them. The, the next colour is the colour that I was drawn to first, which is Island Glow. So this one is Island Glow. So I think this is my favourite and I can see why. I really love those sort of corally colours and this one is a coral and it is gorgeous. This one is Island Glow. But we finally come to the last blush and this is Venetian Red. So this one is Venetian Red. But I'm just going to give it a shake. There's a little bit of water there. It didn't happen to all of them but it happened with this one. This one seemed more emollient than the previous one. Let's see how we get on. This one is Venetian Red. One thing I noticed about these is that it still gives you a glow. Sometimes blushes can look quite matte on you. On camera, I still have a glow. This one's definitely more emollient than the previous one. I'm not sure what's going on with the formulas, but different ones are more emollient than others. So this one is the final color, which is Venetian Red. This is lovely too. So I literally just pushed it and then loads came out. So really be careful how you use the dispenser because I didn't want this much, but there's so much that's come out. So I literally was just gonna do a swatch, but it's a, a lot more than I thought. So a brief summary on the blushes. They are all gorgeous in their own way, as you saw from when I did the cheek swatches. Just be aware that it does dispense a little bit more if you're not careful as to how you push it out of the tube. So try and do it little by little and do it on your hands so that you can control how much goes on your face. So definitely dab it on your hand, then use either your fingers, which I've used today, or a brush. I much prefer my fingers for cream blush. 
I find that I like to feel it on my skin. So that's how I like to apply it, but just be aware. The colors, like I said, are a beautiful selection. They're all slightly different, so they all offer something different. So if you want to try those, then pick the ones that either suit your skin tone or hopefully this has helped you to help pick the right ones as well. So those are all the blushes. And now let's move on to the highlighters, which are the things that were brand new. So let's try the two highlighters that I picked up. So we're moving on to the highlighters and these are the highlighters that Lisa has just launched as part of her collection. Weren't available before, these are brand new. I wanted to pick up two because I felt like they would be slightly different. So this one is called Cosmic Rose. It comes in a glass bottle, which is lovely. You've got the screw top and it's in the gold at the top. It's like a frosted glass. It says Lisa Eldridge down here. So the packaging is really nice. I wanted to dab it where I would think highlighter would go. Now Lisa said a little goes a long way so let's just see how this is. So I'm literally going to dab a couple of times here and then I'm just going to use my finger to sheer it out. Ooh. So I think you can probably build. I haven't used a lot of product, but I'm guessing you can build and get more if you wanted more. There's some product on here as well. So I'm just gonna dab that across here and just intensify it so you can see more of it. But what I love about Lisa's products is you can build. So I would put a little bit on my brow bone, most likely a little bit on my cupid's bow. And I'm just gonna blend this one out here with my finger. So I like just to like to use my, my ring finger to blend it out with my finger. Put a little bit there. That's lovely. That's really pretty. So this is the highlight color in Cosmic Rose. Feels a little bit sort of tacky, but not in a sort of horrible way. I think what it's doing, it's just adhering to the skin to give you that smooth finish. You can probably see the highlight from here. It's really nice. So this one is made in Italy, 12 month shelf life, and it has 13 mil of product. So you get quite a lot in here. And well, that's the finished look. This is Cosmic Rose. The doe foot is really nice and thick. It's got a bit of a sort of slant there as well. On, so we're just going to move on to the next highlighter and this one is in the Elevated Glow in the colour Solar Light. So again, you've got the doe foot and we're going to try Solar Light. or so Just a couple of dabs. You can see that. This is Solar Light. It's lovely, gorgeous. That's a really lovely glow. Okay, so my little mini verdict on the two Elevated Glow in Cosmic Rose and Solar Light. They are beautiful on the skin, as you can see. You can see that from far away, but yet it's so natural. 
I am just a little bit disappointed that they look quite similar when I put them on my skin and you'll probably see that from the photographs and um, when I applied it I thought they would differ the two shades more than what I have on my skin now it might be my skin tone what I will say is this is you don't need both you could probably go with one because actually if you have my skin tone as you can see they both look quite similar so I didn't really notice a huge amount of difference between those two so I just wanted to give you that initial feedback after just putting it on right now so let's move on to the lips now okay so you've got the Lisa Eldridge packaging for the luxuriously lucent lip colors and I've tried these formulas before from Lisa and they are really lovely they're very moisturizing you've got the gorgeous Lisa Eldridge packaging which we all love so this is the color dance card so this is dance card gorgeous Just so you know, this feels really lovely on the lips. It makes you feel like you've got a lip balm on, but with color. And this is dance card. We're now moving on to the next color, which is Kitten Mischief, is Kitten Mischief. It's a lovely colour. It's like a nude, but a really nice, light nude. So the next colour we're going to do is Spirited Away, which is my favourite name from the collection. So this is Spirited Away. This has that kind of, sort of like uh, when you've bitten your lip. Oh yeah, it's just gorgeous, it's lovely. Spirited away. So the next colour is Rose Official. So this is Rose Official. Lovely. So the next one is painterly, and this one is painterly. This one is painterly. And the last one is my favourite one, which I liked when I first saw it, which is Atomic Cherry. So this is Atomic Cherry. So I have tried all of the Luxurious Lucent lip colours and they are really gorgeous. Now just to be aware, they are not highly pigmented but they're very moisturising. So when you see the colour in the tube, it may not necessarily look as 
strong or powerful as it does in the actual sort of lipstick itself. As you can see, when I put it on, it was more of a translucent or light finish. So something to be aware of that it isn't gonna come out as strong. So I just thought I'd let you know about that. In terms of the color selection, I love all the different colors that she's come out with. Very different to the ones she had earlier. I think when she first introduced them. So it's really lovely to have that sort of color range. So finally, we are going to move on to the lip glosses and I picked up four of those. We're gonna do that and then I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. Okay, so these are the last things we're gonna be talking about. These are the Lisa Eldridge Gloss Embrace and I bought four colors which I didn't have from the previous collection. Yeah, so the first one is Songbird. So it comes in 4.5 mil. This one is 36 months made in Italy. You've got the lovely Lisa Eldridge written at the top there. So you've got that on the top just like that and then you've got the gold there so I think this is how it used to be before so I'm literally going to just put it on for you now just to note this is Songbird and you get this Lisa Eldridge writing on it it's so gorgeous So this is Songbird. So this second colour really caught my eye. With these gloss embraces, when you take it off, your lip still feels moisturised, which is really lovely. So we're going into Delilah. Now Delilah was one of the colours that I really loved because it's so bright, but I'm not sure this is going to be as bright as it looks in the tube. This is Delilah. Reminds me of that Tom Jones song, Delilah. I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> you get this doe foot as well, just so you can see how that looks. This is Delilah. It's a really pretty colour. Okay, so now we're moving on to the colour Charm. So this is the colour Charm. This is Charm, really pretty. I cannot believe this, but we are finally on the last product that I bought. This is the Gloss Embrace in the color Affair. And again, this was another color that I really had my eye on. I also have Affair in the lipstick version as well, but this is Affair. gorgeous. I knew I would like this colour. This is a fair. Uh, wow, this is gorgeous. I put on Dante's Dream as a blush and I've got a fair on and they are gorgeous. I can't wait to try different combinations. I will be doing other combinations and trying to show you what combinations you can do. Most likely I will do that on my Instagram. I will be doing some different combinations just to show you how you can combine these all together. This is beautiful. So when it comes to the gloss embrace, this is stunning. I was surprised with one of the colours. I think it was Charm that was brighter on my lips. And actually I thought Delilah would be brighter, but actually Charm turned out brighter. So it's quite interesting because the colour looks so bright in the container. So just be aware that they don't always come out the way they look. So hence the reason why it was really important that I did this video and to show you how 
these colours look on someone of my skin tone. So if you are of a similar skin tone, I think you can pretty much have a similar effect on the skin like I do. So that is the entire collection. I just wanted to thank you for watching the video. I hope that this is gonna be helpful for you. I am so impressed with this collection. The cheeks are like the star because they are products that she's never released before. The highlighters are gorgeous. And as you can see, they were a really gorgeous finish. I don't particularly think you need both. I think you could just go with one and you'd still get the same effect because there's not much difference between the two that I picked out. With regards to the lip colors, they are really really pretty but remember that they are like sort of like a balm like texture and they are not going to be as pigmented as say her lipsticks are these are more like a kind of balmy sort of lip stain or color so don't expect really wow colors to pop out i mean i even thought with atomic cherry that it would pop out but it didn't pop as much as i thought it would and a little bit disappointed i wish it did pop a bit more. With regards to the gloss embrace, stunning colours, lovely addition, those four new colours, beautiful. So I am Lisa Eldridge up completely. <laughs> Please let me know what you think of this collection. How did you think these looked on my skin? Any favourites that you saw? Any that you liked? Any that you'll be picking up? What are you kind of most looking forward to? I'd love to hear. Please don't forget to leave your comments and Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.